Kemp's property. Can we detail that? We had a short brief um, in a council committee meeting, um, but I'd like to understand kind of what the scope is for the $300,000. Is it our, on our property? Um, is it building a road, a public road? Um, is it their property? Um, what's the, the history of these type of relationships? Uh, where have we done this before? Where have we not done this before? Um, I just need a lot more details on the uh, $300,000 of Kent's uh, driveway. Yeah, hey, Councillor DePlacey. So uh, in 2019, Council did sign an agreement with Kent's to cost share on a roadway. Um, that is uh, off Douglastown Boulevard. The roadway actually, uh, I guess, exists on paper uh, on the uh, property system in the government. Uh, so it is, uh, it's in, I guess, our name for that. So the access to the new Kent uh, site, which is adjacent to the Walmart site, south of our multiplex development site, um, it would come off that, that portion of the road. So they've, um, you know, COVID and everything delayed everything. So now they've, re, re, I guess, uh, renewed their pitch to, to, to build that site. Um, you know, there's been some uh, back and forth, you know, details I can't really get into now. There'll be some more details coming forth uh, next week to council on that. But they've, uh, we, we do have an agreement now that we're obligated to cost share that roadway with them. Um, they've asked for some changes to it that we will discuss. Uh, I guess it comes into a legal matter, but a uh, um, little bit of history, I guess, on that. Uh, it, it was back in 2019, they approached us to, to cost share on it. Um, the council at the time signed an agreement with them. I guess uh, any past uh, practice with that? Um, I don't know, top of my head, I do believe we, we made some similar agreements. Uh, uh, Douglastown Boulevard, I guess, with Walmart. I mean, the city built that road partner with Walmart on that so there, there's some past practice and past experience I, I can dig up on that so we can get a little bit of more information as we move forward so so in the next few weeks we've gotten some more information today on it that we bring back to council so does that sure. uh, address some of the questions yeah it does uh, to okay. some extent what's the timeline so there's more information to come um, at some point we have a, a, a thorough discussion on it um, is that after the budget uh, process is wrapped up, or is that before, or just give me a sense of timeline on, on when we can have a, a transparent conversation on this topic. It's a, it, it is a little bit unfortunate that it's kind of coinciding with the budget time, but we have put, uh, put this amount in for allowance, uh, you know, pending, pending some negotiation with them um, that we'll follow up with the council next week, but I do believe it'll, um, you know, we'll discuss it next week, and then uh, probably in two weeks we'll do, do an agreement with them, uh, renewal of an agreement with them, I guess, is what they've asked for. Um, and that uh, coincides, I guess, with the budget. So we're trying to stay ahead of it, I guess, with the budget and put allowance in there for what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, hopefully they match is, is the goal. But we have time, I guess. We're, we're pretty close there, just within, within a few dollars. So that's the best I can say at this time. Thank you. And then uh, on the same topic, through your chair, your worship, to the manager, the agreement signed in 2019, that's that's illegally binding. There's no kind of clause in terms of, you know, how many years it takes them to come to the table. Um, is that, yeah, so we talked, we just, I just heard renewed agreement. Is that a new agreement or is that, are we bound to the 2019 agreement? No, we have an agreement 2019 that said if they develop, that would trigger the, the construction. So it was not a requirement to build it before they started to build. Um, and they've indicated, as the engineer has said, they would like some uh, amendments to that. And we're hoping next week to cover both the, uh, you know, to, to have council have a discussion about the uh, requested amendments and budget accordingly. As the engineer says, it's, you know, it's falling on the same night but you know we just got the information from them so uh, i guess to recap if they if they do build we have an agreement if they uh, but they've requested an amendment and i'm not sure if the budget 300 reflects the amendment proposed or if it a little bit of that if it reflects one amendment i guess we'll leave yeah. it at that we would hope council to make a decision on the amendment before you make a decision on the budget. So we would yeah. not ask you to make a decision on the budget 
when this is fluid, it, there, would, make, it would make no sense. And from a procedural perspective, and I, I'll look at Director Gorman here too, like uh, it, there could be, from my perspective, and we can chat about this, maneuverability to have the, you know, the, the, the night that we have proposed amendments on the capital budgets could be delayed one week. Um, if that would allow for council to receive proper information on items that are going to be considered to be in there. Um, or, you know, we can call a special council meeting on a different night of the week too. Like I, I do, you know, I'll work with the clerk and, uh, sorry, the treasurer and the manager to try to facilitate that because I, I mean the purpose of doing this tonight and then having that another night is so that we aren't receiving information and then having to commit to it on the same night. That's a bedrock principle that I try to instill in the budget process. So we can talk about how to do that. Thank you. Does that answer your question, Councillor? I mean, I understand what you're saying. To vote on the budget when this is fluid would not be preferable. And, and it would be our intention not to have you vote on this item for this budget until Council has made a decision on the request to changes to the agreement. So whether we change the night or isolate this matter, Mm -hmm. to, a, to another night, we would not ask you to approve this without making a decision on that proposed amendment. Yeah, and I guess as well too, like in terms of information, the, like I'm assuming that the case for support is built on economic development, that you know, there's a plus of, of finances if we, um, in, in tax revenue, if we build them a cost share road. Um, is that the, the premise and the kind of that we're working on with these projects? The engineer is shaking his head yes, and I, I, for what it's worth, I would agree. So I guess that that case needs to be kind of demonstrated to us as well, right? Is like when is the payback on this? Um, and then I do have concerns around precedent as we develop a regional commercial and, and cost share all of the infrastructure for corporate Canada, but I'll leave that to, to another day. 